welcome to our new podcast i am rituanjay pande one of the curriculum leads here at aqua job and today we have a part of the product team of aqua job here with us so guys before starting with the podcast can i have a quick introduction of you guys okay uh, so i'll go first uh, hi guys i'm harsh i'm one of the co-founders here at aqua job i'm also the cto uh, and lead the tech and the product team hi i'm piyush i'm a cs grad and works at aqua job as a back end engineer Hi guys, I'm Dhruv. Uh, I'm a product manager here at Aqua Job. That's great. Uh, so guys, we know that Aqua Job has come a long way since its inception, and the product has developed quite a lot since the beginning, right? So can I know where what was the thought when you actually started making the product? What was the north star for the product? Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, so when we actually began the uh, course with the first batch, uh, we didn't really have any product. Mm-hmm. uh we uh because we had been uh running some businesses since 2018 uh we had developed a few insights uh before going into the specific idea right uh we realized that building something before and then seeing the response of the market wasn't really that great of an approach mm-hmm. uh this time we decided to uh first of all see what the outcomes are and then once we realize uh and understand the users and their journey then go ahead and build something So uh with the first batch we didn't really build anything we used uh different tools for different aspects to classes on zoom didn't integrate it uh had a discord server for our students to ask doubts uh i was active on the discord server the entire time for the first batch uh running the first cohort this way really told us what were the important aspects or kin cheezon pe dhyan dena hai logon ke liye right so uh once uh we gained learnings from that then we decided to sort of build on the important parts that was the initial stage yes that's amazing uh so as you said that you gained some learning from the first batch and then you kind of made a road map on what product needs to be built so can you give us a glimpse of what aqua job pro- product has for the students okay i'll just uh, broadly cover a few important aspects so uh First of all uh, a student has to take the lectures 3 hours every day right. right so we built a specific integration so that the student has a single place mm-hmm. where they are able to both join the live sessions as well as have a place where they have a list of recordings of all the classes that they've okay. ever done on the platform right apart from this every day we give students 5 6 assignments these assignments could be things on the data structures and algorithm side mm-hmm. or a little bit on the web development side as well so slowly and steadily we've built this cap- capability on both of these uh areas uh in such a way that now uh, we have a decently mature product and all of our needs are getting satisfied through that in terms of what a user can do uh they can obviously watch the live classes right. solve the assignments they can book uh mentor sessions and uh, mock interviews with the mentors that are there they have a continuous 24 hour uh, doubt support that is available to them because in programming you get stuck at some place it takes you a couple of hours to get through that absolutely so making sure key the turnaround time, time on the doubt resolution mm-hmm. is something we are able to handle right so right. now with enough maturity enough scale enough mentors we are able to ensure that uh, a student has a place to go any time they are having a doubt so that uh, was a thing we added recently as well yeah uh apart from this uh we have got an entire place an entire new project uh regarding contests so okay. we think that in companies having uh, because most companies have a timed sort of limited interview uh contest setting in their selection process as well right so making sure that we are able to recreate that part as mm. well was important mm. and the contest platform allows us to do that the mm-hmm. students are uh made to solve questions in a specific time they are uh proctored the environment is proctored so the student uh, don't really have the option to cheat right we are detecting faces we are detecting whether applications are changing or not oh, wow. so all of that capability is built and we also have a plagiarism checker so in case a student copies a code from a friend or someone mm-hmm. and tries to submit it we are able to detect detect that as well so That's yeah great. yeah broadly these are the features that we have so this brings me to the next question that uh, i understand that lectures are provided by expert instructors and that is one of the best thing that aqua job provides right? right but the second part that you mentioned that the student also solves assignments after every lecture right. 
so my question is that there are so many platforms out there on the internet where there are many many questions and the students can go there and churn questions and solve them so why did you decide to bring that part in house Uh, so i can take this right so definitely there are a lot of platforms where you can go and solve a lot of questions right, right. even all the material that you require to become a full stack developer hmm. that is kind of available for free on the internet correct right but for the students the biggest part is guidance and clarity on what they need to do hmm. right so we decided to basically create a single place on our platform yes. where we'll provide each and everything a student needs to study and become a full stack developer at one place mm-hmm. right so as harsh mentioned that uh, the student can join classes right mm-hmm. so he can join classes watch recordings all assignment all of that in our portal and we have been including more and more features right so having our own platform also provides us more control on what exactly uh, features that we want the user to have mm-hmm. right and exactly what thing he should be seeing at what point of time right so there's a typical mm-hmm. journey uh in the learning or when someone is uh, actually becoming a full stack developer right Correct. so we can actually provide uh, identify and provide the exact items he should be focusing on at any given point of time right and uh, one more thing yeah. i'd like to add on to this is so when we are planning for new features right. that we will be launching or what our user must be using so for that we need some data data in terms of like there are two ways qualitative or quantitative mm-hmm. so having quantitative measures over qualitative is definitely in nowadays a uh, plus point so having the count of submissions the user uh, user has uh, submitting on our platform and then how many recordings or how many live uh, sessions they are attending so those data are more, much more critical mm-hmm. and uh, integrating with other platforms and fetching data from there in is much more difficult much more different, and yeah. Uh, yeah much more difficult to analyze mm-hmm. so that is part which enabled us to make more features on our platform mm-hmm. wow plus ek ye bhi angle hai na ki uh, since we have got the uh, setup ready now we can actually innovate and build things that don't mm-hmm. really exist anywhere right for example our contest platform some things we are planning in the new courses that we are launching are things which don't really exist in the world mm-hmm. on the web dev side as well uh, there is definite maturity in the market on the data structure side but mm-hmm. i think on the web dev side definitely we are doing things which don't really exist right now like so recently uh, for the web dev side only we have built two products one is web dev ide which is on our platform let's say earlier we, what we were uh, facing problem is the students were not solving much more web dev questions because there was lag in attending questions wow. so there was like first they have to pull the code from github repo mm-hmm. and then do the stuff and then they have to submit so for some small questions like we are ju- they have to just deal with html css now they can just go over the platform the code will be fetched automatically and they can make small changes over there and submit it there only and second product we have just launched is vs code extension mm-hmm. where uh, for big uh, for bigger questions like uh, either it can be on java or react where multiple files are needed so we needed a ide itself so for that part we have load vs Co- uh, we have launched vs code extension where user can view the question right. fetch the code and then submit make the changes and then submit the code over there only so that must have made the life of students much more simpler yeah yeah definitely just to uh, put a quantitative angle to this mm-hmm. we saw the submissions and web dev getting increased by five times at the same day we deployed this that's so, incredible yeah. and yeah like on web dev side there's a definite need in the market that the students do not know exactly what to practice and where to practice and they do not really have a good uh, platform to practice at as well so this innovation must have helped us students a lot Definitely. and this uh, kind of verifies the fact that as you guys mentioned that acu job product has become one stop platform where student can attend the live lecture see the recordings do dsa question do web dev questions right and it takes them out of the jungle if i have to put yeah correct. right because tech is huge and students have like as uh, dhruv mentioned there is a lot of inf- information out there on the internet but no one knows how much to study and what to study but then there's another aspect to this right uh when someone starts churning the internet to learn tech skills getting the right information is one part but keeping the motivation up is also the uh, other huge aspect of this problem so 
आर वी डूइंग समथिंग ऑन द टेक्स साइड टू टैकल द मोटिवेशन प्रॉब्लम सो मोटिवेशन इज एक्चुअली वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट मेट्रिक दैट वी फोकस ऑन राइट सो so one part here is right providing correct guidance to the student right for each day the student is learning uh, the course with us right we provide a curated set of lectures and mm-hmm. assignments for him yes. so he has clear visibility on what he needs to achieve uh, day by day uh, to actually become a good full stack developer mm-hmm. in addition to that we have multiple metrics that we pro- show to the student on our platform uh which uh, actually keeps him motivated for example we have a daily uh, streaks uh, score uh which basically shows uh, for how many days a student has been solving questions for mm-hmm. so these are things that motivate students they are able to share uh, share these metrics with their friends as well right so this helps them keep uh, stay motivated uh we also recently did some analysis uh, around how the students are using our platform right and came, came up with a job sincerity score Okay. which which basically uh, does what it does is it takes in uh, the effort that a student is actually putting into the course mm-hmm. right uh, and te- gives him a score and okay. this is uh, this score is basically what correlates directly with his possibility of placement so it it basically gives him a metric which he can look at and he can strive to basically increase that metric and basically have some surety that right. he'll get placed if he just uh, keeps doing that yeah. like a solid con- quantitative yeah. figure that mm-hmm. tells the student if he or she is job ready or not yeah, yeah. that's amazing now uh, since we have talked about many features uh, of the product and you guys are doing a fantastic job in improving and innovating are there some specific feature that you guys yourself are very proud of yeah definitely so <clears throat> recently as harsh has talked about we have launched contest mm-hmm. so contest is something we were uh, earlier hosting at different places and okay. there was one limitation i will say was that uh, hosting it on some other platform first of all it doesn't gives us that much metric so to analyze the data second point is it was too much costly okay and uh, definitely that cost is going to uh, be uh, that cost is being recovered by students only right so for that part we started building contest on our end only and uh, we were uh, directly or indirectly we achieved uh, near about 10 times drop in cost in hosting okay. the contests and yeah uh, now contest is being hosted on our platform so we are getting the direct data that is one thing another like there are many more features i'll so i can talk mean, about one thing right so we have we have always had uh, mock interviews for our students so these are one v one sessions that our students can book with uh, mentors uh, top mentors that we have identified right so we have kind of optimized and productized this entire thing ourselves so we have uh, categorized different type of sessions based on where the student is in his learning journey right now uh, which mentor should be taking that uh, specific session hmm. right and on our platform itself a student can come there and book a session uh, a specific type of session with a mentor right okay. all of it happens seamlessly through our platform he can uh, come on the platform join the sessions get the recording for that okay in addition to that a very important uh, part for this is how we are providing a feedback to the student right right so we have also objectified uh, the uh, objectively defined the entire feedback process right. so mentors are for example supposed to fill a very objective form okay. through which we ourselves are able to kind of uh, distill the feedback that should be provided to the student hmm. key actionables that the student can actually take up okay. and basically implement uh, to become a better developer so right. so yeah. uh, for example these are the things right mm-hmm. as we are scaling we are seeing that we'll have to hire a lot more mentors there will be variation in the mentors course right. right so making sure ki we are taking care of such aspects as well ki prejudice nahi aa raha student ki learning journey mein sahi baat he is able to get the same experience uh, irrespective of the quality of the mentor mm-hmm. because as we scale there will be a dip in the quality definitely so building a product in such a way uh, mm-hmm. that it is able to allow Uh, it, uh the learning journey to not be impacted as we scale and right? eliminate the subject and be yeah. enhanced actually mm-hmm. right so that is the crucial step for us and that is what we are trying so abhi tak uh, for the past 10 months we have built a lot mm-hmm. we have added a lot of features uh over the next uh phase mm-hmm. we see ourselves as n- at now focusing on the 
uh, less major aspects of the student journey because now the ma major part of the curriculum major part of the platform is being built right. has been built right. it's already there for the student to enjoy mm -hmm. right so now comes the part where we are able to customize it specifically for each mm -hmm. of the possible gaps that there are in a specific student mm -hmm. so uh, you guys mentioned one on one mentorship sessions that if i have some particular doubt in a in a particular concept let's say mm -hmm. then i can book a one on one mentorship session and get that uh, doubt clarified are there any other avenues uh, through which a student for example i get stuck in a question then do i have to go through the long process of booking a one on one mentorship session and or are there any other avenues no definitely not uh, so there is a chat bot being deployed okay so when student gets a doubt or he is multi uh, he is submitting questions multiple time and getting it wrong mm -hmm. so we'll give him a, uh, we show him a pop up where he can chat with the bot and he can submit his questions submission okay. and see some suggestions over there and still if he is not met uh, for the doubt solving part so there is an option to book for a mentor there only apart wow. from this we also have a day long live doubt session that that right. is always active on our platform hmm. right so uh, any student can actually uh, join that live doubt session mentors are sitting there he can uh, basically discuss his doubt one on one with the mentor Uh, we also have as piyush mentioned a chat option on the website mm -hmm. so if your doubt is not very very uh, complex right? right and it can be easily solved over a chat you may choose to actually message us through our website right and mm -hmm. our mentor will instantaneously reply to you so if all of this we are basically doing so that uh, Uh, there are not any roadblocks when any student as is learning right he comes on the platform he is uh, trying to learn so if he faces any doubt we want to reduce uh, reduce the time that uh, it, it is taking for him to actually find the answer yes that's amazing so acquire job product uh, seems to be the place where the student can attend the lectures learn things and solve questions and get their doubts clarified yeah. that's incredible uh so moving on from the product side to the tech team itself uh, okay. right that you guys are building so many things and you guys are working so hard so how does the day for you guys and what is the culture within the tech team and what kind of problems do you normally face uh, okay so i'll give you some context on how the team is and what all uh, developers we have so right now the team size is 8 wow. uh, we have it's a matter of chance that Uh, the situation is such that either our developers are people who graduated from iits or are acquire job uh, graduates so we have already hired uh, three people now from the course uh, two of them will be joining us soon as well that's amazing uh, on the tech side we try to keep a very flat hierarchy all of our engineers work independently own their own features and are solely responsible for them so it's a very uh, flat structure i would say definitely as we scale we will probably have to switch to a more hierarchical form mm -hmm. but right now i personally enjoy working in such an environment mm -hmm. because i think that each of the people in the tech team is skilled uh, to a great extent and yeah. uh, they can contribute to each of the discussions that we are having right so right now that is how we are structured yes okay uh, as you mentioned that coming back to the product right again uh, you mentioned that most of the majority of the things that are there for the student to enjoy have already been built and now you are exploring new avenues on what extra can be built and how you can more customize the product as per the student uh can you give me a glimpse of the road map ahead for the product yeah okay so uh although for a majority of companies and a majority of the learning our data structures and our web dev uh features right get uh give sufficient value to the student hmm. however there are small angles which can be covered as well which okay. we will be working on now for example sql is something which is expected from a dev till now we didn't have we didn't really have a place where they could in real time be able to run queries on some database and hmm. see what the answer is or what the response is granted that it is not something that is uh, going to impact a lot of companies mm -hmm. they are not directly looking for it yeah but now we are at a stage where even for a small fraction of the companies that are coming we will build out features that aid student learning and that allow better outcomes for the student wow. so this is one thing 
the other thing obviously is uh, we are going to launch a new course in data analytics. So uh, we will have to again go back to the drawing board, uh, start with the first principles thinking again, see what the journey is, what can be built and yeah, the entire process starts again for us, taking something super <laughs> immature and seeing uh, the process to make it uh, complete. Then I wish all of you a very good luck for that. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Guys, I hope you liked the podcast. Do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you want more such content to know more about Akijob, mention it in the comments below.